My name is Gary the Numbers Guy, I'm a numerologist, astrologer, and in this video we'll be discussing Chinese astrology. A lot of people in the West are familiar with the Virgo, the Aquarius, well, I kind of think Chinese astrology supersedes the rest, and this is why I think so. See, um, in Western astrology, that basically deals with how the different planets affect you. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, how their movements affect you. What the positions of the planets were when you were born. That It basically deals with different planets. Indian astrology deals with different stars, how the different stars affect us. Chinese astrology is the only astrology that deals with the planet Earth. And I don't know about you folks, but I was born on this planet. Chinese astrology basically is about every 12 years there's a different animal cycle. And basically that animal signifies different vibrational energy that the Earth manifests during that time period. And as we go on, I'm going to show you how some energies do very well together and how some energies, well, just shouldn't really be around each other. Sometimes, though, you can't really avoid it. Disclaimer, numerology supersedes any form of astrology. That's why all the signs are numbered. Having said that, astrology is a very powerful tool. Let's start like this. The first sign, the rat. The rat is a very intelligent sign. The rat gets along best with dragons, monkeys, and the rat is one sign that has one ability that no one else has. They can sense danger in their guts. They can just sense it. That's their gift. That's their power. Uh, when a rat is directly confronted, he will not fight back. When they have the fight or flight response, a rat is going to leave. A rat's going to try to outsmart his enemy. And nine times out of ten, he usually will. Rats are great salespeople. Rats are very, very good at basically knowing what to say and when to say it. They can manipulate people very, very easily. Not saying they all do, but the trait they have. Uh, rats are not the very most trustful people when it comes to relationships. Not saying they can't be. The only thing rats really love in this life is their kids. They love their kids more than anything. Not saying other people don't, but rats will do anything for their kids. People who are born in the year of the rat, they, they tend to have cycles where they have a pack of friends and they move on. They never really stay in one place for too long. And that what brings me to LeBron James. LeBron James, born 1984. Chris Bosh, born 1984. Darren Williams, born 1984. They all left their original teams and went to a new one. Carmelo Anthony, born 1974. A little bit more actually, Cleveland. 1972 born Rat Manny Ramirez, born the year of the Rat. 1936 born Jim Brown, left you guys for Hollywood, year of the Rat. And people who were born in the year of the Rat, 1936, 1948, 1960, 1972, 1984, 1996, and 2008. Your enemy sign is the year of the horse. Anyone who was born in the year of the horse, well, they really don't get along too well with horses. Give me an example. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal was a rat and Kobe Bryant was a horse. And I'll get back to Kobe. You'll see where he math makes his mistakes in life. Rats, again, rats are very intelligent. Rats are probably one of the smartest signs. Rats love their kids above all else and they should not be around horses. Next sign, the ox. The ox is a very steady worthy sign it basically it's a very dependable type of sign it doesn't get mad very easily but if it gets mad watch out they they, they have hella tempers they kind of relate to the Taurus of the western zodiac people who are born in the year of the ox get along very well with rats that is the one thing i forgot to mention rats and oxes get along very very well rats also get along well with roosters rats also get along well with snakes now, a rat, excuse me, an ox, when it gets in a position of power, it seems to have a lot of dictat dictatorial command, dictatorial structure. Let me show you where I'm getting at. Napoleon Bonaparte, the guy who basically took over Europe, is born in the year of the ox. Adolf Hitler, the guy who tried to conquer Europe, again, born in the year of the ox. Saddam Hussein, yes, Try to take over the Middle East, and again, a dictator born in the year of the ox. And I'll just put this out there. Obama's born in the year of the ox, too. I'll just put that out there. Anyways, going back to Saddam. People who are born in the year of the ox have one enemy sign, and it's the year of the goat. And let me give you an ex example. Every 12 years in Chinese astrology, you're hit your opposite sign. And that earth is manifesting energy that doesn't, uh, how can I say, mix well with you. Like Kind of like oil and water. Well, anyways, 
Every time Saddam had a little bit of trouble internationally, uh, yeah, it was the year of the GOAT. 1979, Iran-Iraq War. 2000, uh, 1991, First Gulf War. 12 years apart, 1979-1991. And 12 years from there, 2003, America invades and deposes them. So every time was the year of the GOAT, his opposite sign, he got hit. And that goes for any sign. Whenever you're in your opposite, opposite sign, nine times out of ten, you're going to get hit. The year of the tiger. Tigers born 1950, 1962, 1974, 1986, 1998, and 2010. People who are born in the year of the tigers are very impulsive. They like to have fun. They're definitely the type of people who can be in very good shape. Whether they're good shape or, or is not as regardless, they're great fighters. Some of the best fighters in the world or mixed martial arts experts, they're tigers. Dragon might be the most powerful sign, and dragon might be the most powerful out of all the 12 signs, but the tiger would definitely give it a run for its money. Um, people who are born in the year of the tiger get along best with people born in the year of the dog and people born in the year of the horse. Their enemy sign is the monkey. Monkeys and tigers should not have anything to do with each other if they can avoid unless they're family. Then it is what it is. The gift that tigers have is good health and age. They age like a fine wine. I once saw someone born in 1938, a couple years back. I swear I thought the guy was 45, 50. I mean, this guy's pushing 70, 80s, and he looks like he's 50. And I've noticed throughout my life that tigers age very well and they have good health. Again, if the numerology supersedes to say someone's born in 7, 16, 25th, well, yeah, numerology supersedes astrology. But just that energy in total, great health. Again, tigers tend to be a little bit impulsive, but it is what it is. Another fact I'll put out there. Guys, women who are born in the year of the tiger, strong ones, but they're also the hardest to tame. Remember that. The tiger enjoys the hunt above all else. Always remember that. Next, the year of the cat. And yes, some astrologers would say it's the year of the rabbit. But see, I've actually done psychological profiles of people born into this year. And I've assumed it is the cat. Because see, the cat likes to play mind games. See, a cat will actually put a, get a, a rat by its tail, hold it, let it go, just to hold it again, just to mess with its head. Cats love playing mind games, and they're great psychologists. So people born in the year of the cat, absolutely great psychologist. Uh, people born in the year of the cat get along best with goats and pigs. People in the year of the cat, their enemy sign is rooster. And yes, let me tell you something, folks. If you're a cat, do not have anything to do with a rooster. See, a Eva Bangoria had to find out the hard way. She was born in 1975, the year of the cat. And yes, Tony Parker, her ex-fiance, is a rooster. I saw that one coming. How about this one? Oh, you're going to love this one, folks. Brad Pitt, born 1963, year of the cat. Jennifer Aniston, always relationship problems. Well, Aquarius as well have that. But she's born in the year of the rooster. And the woman who stole Brad Pitt from her, you guessed it, Angelina Jolie, born in the year of the cat. Again, enemy signs. So again, like I say, cats, <laughs> roosters, stay away from each other. Next, year of the dragon. People who are born in the year of the dragon are the luckiest, most powerful, so lucky in life. Maybe not in money all the time, but lucky in life, the luckiest. They're also the most powerful sign. Women who are born in the year of the dragon is probably stronger than 90% of the guys out there. Dragons demand a respect and they get it. They're not diplomats. They do things by force and they boss people around and they get away with it because they're dragons. Uh, the oldest, the longest ruler or president in a strong country or the biggest country in the world, Russia, Vladimir Putin, is a dragon. Just to put that out there. Next. Excuse me. Going back to the dragon, dragons do not get along well with dogs. And I'll get back to that a little bit later. Dragons, dogs should stay away from each other. Dragons get along best with monkeys, rats, and snakes. Dogs, no good. As a matter of fact, people who were born in the year of the dog, I'll get to that a little later. And for a tough year in 2012, the year of the dragon. Next, year of the snake. The snakes are the astrologers, numerologists. They're the best ones. They're the fortune tellers in life. That's their ability. That's their gift. People who are born in the year of the snake are very intelligent. Stephen Hawking, born 1941, a very, very intelligent fellow. If you do the numerology about him, he's born 1-8-1941, adds up to a 25, 2 and 5 is 7, and 7 
number of the genius D begins with seven. So again, everything correlates, but Stephen Hawking is a very, very smart individual. Another interesting point out there, JFK, who was assassinated, it, well, probably one of the smarter U.S. presidents in U.S. history, and Abraham Lincoln have one thing in common. They're both born in the year of the snake. See, snakes are very hard to control. Snakes get along best with the roosters. They go along best, best with oxes and dragons. They should need to stay the hell away from pigs. As Charlie Sheen find out, because, see, one of the negatives about snakes is uh, they like to have fun in the bedroom. And sometimes they cannot be faithful. Uh, so, and, but one thing the snakes need to avoid is people born in the year of the pigs. See, Charlie Sheen, born in 65, and Denise Richards, born in 1971, just didn't work out. Uh, what do you know? One more thing about snakes. Don't gamble. 90% of you will be a loser in gambling. Just what it is. Also, year of the snake, 2001, 2013, expect the same. Next, the year of the horse. Horses are great athletes. Horses get along best with tigers and dogs. Horses' enemy sign uh, is rats. And see, Kobe Bryant could have talked to me a few years back, and I could explain the reason he doesn't get along with Shaq was because Shaq's born in the year of the rat. But see, what Kobe really could have learned from me is his wife. Oh, yeah, his wife. That beautiful thing, born in the fifth. Five does give you luck. Angela Jolie's a five, and this girl right here is a five, too. But Vanessa is also born 84, year of the rat. So it's no surprise they got divorced. Another fact. Horses and rats hate each other, and horses are very intelligent when it comes to scientific um, pursuits. They're great engineers. When it comes to that type of stuff, they're great, very smart, but they're also stubborn as hell. And that's how I knew Gaddafi would never leave Ib Libya and die there, because he's too stubborn. Even though he was dealt a losing hand at the very end, he could have left with billions, but he was too stubborn. If they don't listen, they're stubborn as hell sometimes. Um, and if you know this, Gaddafi, he always said his enemies were rats. Hmm. Funny how that works. Next. Year of the goat. People who are born in the year of the goat are best friends with people um, born in the year of the cat and year of the, of the pig. Their enemy sign, as I explained before, the year of the ox. Goats are very, uh, how can I put this, um, eccentric. Goats basically they care a good amount of, about their looks. Um, goats are can be movie stars. Goats are the type of people who need to be pampered in life. They're not the warriors. Um, but they serve a purpose, and goats, the world wouldn't be anything without goats because goats definitely don't have to have fun. They cheer everyone up in life. Next, the year of the monkey. Monkeys get along best with dragons and rats. Their enemy sign is the tiger. Monkey is probably the smartest when it comes to pure wittiness. They can figure things out, take things apart, work things with the hands quicker than anyone else. Monkeys are probably right up there with the smartest sign. Um, but snakes are the wisest, if that makes sense to people. Snakes are the wisest, and monkeys are probably the smartest so they can figure things out the quickest. Next sign, the year of the rooster. People who are born in the year of the rooster get along best with snakes, dragons, and I forgot to say that about the dragon. Snakes, dragons, and oxes. Their enemy sign is the cat. And one thing I can say about roosters is they're, they're warriors. They really are. They're tough. If they're males, they're usually in the army, just like oxes. They have that in common. They're usually... In uh, the police force, they make for wonderful law enforcement agents. And if they're women, uh, they can be very classy ladies, very loyal. Roosters are very loyal. And the one thing they are is also very beautiful. They seem to age very well and their looks are something else. Uh, Jessica Alba is born in the year of the rooster. Alicia Keys is born in the year of the rooster. And yes, Natalie Portman, born in the year of the rooster. All very gorgeous women. Next, the year of the dog. People who are born in the year of the dog are get along best with um, horses and uh, I'm, well, I've been talking so much, everything's stubborn now. People born in the year of the dog get along best with horses and you guys, tigers. Uh, they're very loyal sign, but they don't really trust anyone they don't know. Uh, uh, their gift in life is their ability to just see things. Uh, they, they, can, they have a good eye for detail, sometimes a photographic memory. They can have a great sense of smell, just like a real dog, and they make for wonderful detectives. They really do. Their enemy sign is the year of uh, the dragon, which is 2012. So the best thing I can tell um, dogs this year, because energy really isn't with you, um, play a conservative playbook. Don't take risks and take the punches as they go. Everyone goes through this every 12 years. It's your time. People who were born in the year of the dog, like Bush, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, uh, athletes like Omar Mater Stoudemire, Expect them to have tough years. Next, the year of the pig. 
pig are definitely know how to have fun. They definitely are the good guys in life. They they, they can help people out sometimes. Um, a pig will always help a friend out. Uh, people who are born in the year of the pig get along best with ox. And, uh, excuse me, oxes they get along good with with sheep and cats. Their enemy sign is snakes, as I told you before. Pigs and snakes just don't get along with too good in those years. And pigs, when it comes to money and gambling, there is no luckier sign than people born in the year of the pig. And again, that is a brief the tutorial of Chinese astrology. Obviously, there's a lot more to it. But again, I hope this helped you understand Chinese astrology a little better. My name is Gary the Numbers Guy, and I hope you learned something.